Good morning, good morning, everyone out there. Hi, how are you this morning? It could be noon that you're tuning in, or it might be evening. Anyway, this is Isha. How are you? Welcome, you welcoming you and thanking you for tuning into um, House Charles Di. Hallelujah! What a great time for all of us this day that He has made for us to share with you. Uh, I have uh, some encouraging words to share with you, and uh, let's take them to heart and let's think about them. See what a wonderful Yahuwah we have, okay? So is everybody out there ready to rumble with me? Hey. Come on, come on. We're going to rumble, and we're going to run, and we ain't going to stumble because this word is going to come in our hearts, and we're going to know, and we're going to hear what it's saying for you and I, okay? Amazing. How about that? Come on. All right. And anyway, today, as always, I say to all of you, yes, 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 all over the world, one more time, if you're out there and you're hiding, come out behind that door, get your computer, get your, come on, all right, here I am, waiting for you. But anyway, like always, we have Elder Josh Malaro that will read. He will read the scriptures for you so that you know. They're for you, the word of Yahuwah, okay? Amen. So, uh, we're going to start today with um, the book, in the book of Proverbs. And uh, as I was going and hearing the book of Proverbs, I came across uh, where they were ta talking about scriptures that talked about his name. Mm. And I said, mm, his name there's, right now, there's a lot of names all over the world, especially at this time right now. There's names that are not too, <laughs> that are not too good, and a lot of people say, hey, "Just call me anything. Don't call me late for dinner. Whatever <laughs> you want to call me." Oh yeah, really? No, no, no. We learn. We need to learn to have respect for each other, no matter what the situation or what we're going. Especially, especially, I've noticed to elders, for those that have hoary heads, those that are coming, that are there before some of them. Some are young, some can be in middle age, but then we get those that are older, getting older, those that hold and know wise counsel, that you can call on them, you can talk to them, and they will give you wise counsel. So, today, we're going to start with Proverbs 22. And I'm just going to read those for you and I, okay, Ruby? Okay. Go ahead, Elder, you read it for us. And don't forget to get your pens and papers ready to uh, write uh, down uh, these uh. scriptures. <laughs> don't get it, don't get it. <laughs> they know by now. So, it says in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1 through 4, A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. Loving favor rather than silver and gold. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. The rich and the poor have this in common, that Yahuwah is the maker of them all. A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Verse 4. By humility and the fear of Yahuwah, are riches and honor and life. Hallelujah. Verse uh, 1 says, a good name. He's named us. Our parents named us. That's our name. That's who we are. And, you know, I was thinking about it. Sometimes we're, we could be at home walking down the street or on the phone mm -hmm. or wherever you, you're at, and you can hear names being called out, being called out to one another, and 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 you stop to think, well, what's happening? Look, at, that's that's not her name, or that's not my name. Do you ever stop to think about that, or do you hear that out there yourself? When when you think about it, that it, a, a name, he Yahuwah looks at you. That's why he called you, your name. That's your name. That's my name. You know. In 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 uh, what is it in Genesis? He called the what did he, what was her name first? She was a woman. That's an Isha. Wow. And Isha, her name is woman. And then, she 
she was called Eve. But I wanted to tell you that especially now, you know, a lot of people are calling uh, each other names, especially, and I, and I direct and I say this, out there right now, receive it. In, in, in marriages, in couples, in, in friends, close friends, they call each other whatever fall name there is out there. Why? Do you ever stop to think about it? What hit the heart? What hit, what came and interrupted by saying, by someone calling you or your husband or your wife or your children, calling you a bad name? And don't forget that when you call someone something, don't forget that Yahuwah knows your heart and can read your heart if it's in your heart already to call someone a bad name. Mm. It says there that a good name is chosen by him. Him who? Yahuwah. In, 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 in Proverbs 22, read the whole chapter yourself and you'll get your revelation. You'll know what he's telling you, what he's telling all of us out there. A word of encouragement for us to walk in it, for us to live it, not to be out there calling each other bad names because we had a bad day or what's going around the world is so bad that you go and call somebody else something that bad. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, out there, do you hear it sometimes on your own? Yep. You know? Hallelujah. I wanted to share that. In the, uh, this morning uh, about his name. It's very powerful. I want you all to know. And if you don't know his name, name, let me tell you about him. It's like, uh, why don't we just read, uh, let's go to another ch uh, chapter and then we'll come back to this. Yes. We'll continue. The next chapter is in Second Chronicles okay. chapter 10. And it says right here in beginning in ver uh, verse 6. Yes. This is a, a, a chapter in Second Chronicles where it talks about, and I know you'll read, you'll read the, the whole chapter, but it, it talks about when uh, King Solomon's son was taken over as king. And uh, he got to that place where he needed counsel, but he didn't know what to do, so he turned around and said, hey, you... Uh, hoary heads, you elder people, you older men, you older consul, what do you give me? What advice do you give me? And they told him he kind of didn't like it. We get to that place sometimes, everybody. We get to that place, nah, I don't want to hear that. I, I got to hear, you know, things are new now. Yep. And then what happened? He says, okay, so he calls a another group of young men that grew up with him and say, hey guys, what do you guys think about this? What do you think I should do? What do you think about it? So he comes up and tells them. So I'll let Elder read it and then you'll get to just a bit more and then we'll talk about it more. So we know that we can't despise them. We can't, what? We can't, we have to be and take he take counsel also from men, older men. Go ahead, Elder, read it. Second Chronicles chapter 10, beginning in verse 6, it says, Then King Rehoboam consulted with the elders who stood before his father Solomon while he still lived, saying, How do you advise me to answer these people? Verse 7, And they spoke to him, saying, if you are kind to these people and please them and speak good words to them, they will be your servants forever. Verse 8, but he rejected the advice from the elders had given him and consulted the young men who had grown up with him who stood before him. Verse 9, and he said to them, what advice do you give? How should we answer this people who have spoken to me, saying, Lighten the yoke for which your father put, us, put on us. Verse 10, Then the young men who had grown up with him spoke to him, saying, Thus you should speak to the people who have, uh, who have spoken to you, saying, 
Your father made our yoke heavy, but you will make it lighter on us. Thus, you shall say to them, my little finger shall be thicker than my father's waist. Hallelujah. And, and, and nowadays, we get into that place. We might be in a situation that's a little bit too hard that you think that you can't handle it, that you're not old enough or you're not wise enough to handle it. So you say to yourself, I, I know. Okay, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask the elders. But eh, I don't want them. I don't want to hear that. I'm going to hear something better. So he calls someone else. I know. Do we all get in that place? But we have to make a decision. No, no, no. We're going to walk with Yahuwah and know that he gives you the wisdom to make up your mind what you have to say. Yeah. Yahuwah said, like he gave Solomon, when he said, ah, he said, Solomon, what, what, what do you want out there in the world? What do you want out there in the world? What are you thinking about it? What is it that you want? And you might say, I don't know what to do tomorrow when I wake up. I don't know this and I don't know that. I know what I want. I want you, Yahuwah, to give me wisdom to learn how to handle all these people, to make a decision, a right decision. Hallelujah. And Yahuwah gave it to him. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. And the whole world knew about his wisdom. And that's why I say, I talk today about the elder, the hoary head. There's a scripture there that talks about the hoary head. A hoary head is a hair, a, a, an elder uh, getting older in life. He's coming to that place. In his, that's right, he keeps going and getting older and older and wiser and wiser. So don't ever be scared or ashamed mm. to call for counsel from an elder. Hallelujah. Can you read that scripture? Sure. In Leviticus chapter 19, verse 32, it says, You shall rise before the hoary head and honor the presence of an old man. <laughs> and fear your Elohim. Hallelujah. I am Yahuwah. That Hallelujah. was Leviticus chapter 19, That's verse right. 32. Hallelujah. Keep that scripture. When you meet an elder man, you can see and you can feel and you can tell he's full of wisdom. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. So take heed and just know. Read the next scriptures. Yes. The next scripture is in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 1. Okay. And it says, Do not rebuke an older man, but exhort him as a father, younger men as brothers. Hallelujah. Remember, never go over this just because they're old. Don't ever rebuke them. If you have something that you're, that you're confused or, or something that you want to say, you take them to the side and you treat them like a father and say, you know, I didn't understand. Don't raise up your voice. Don't ever rebuke them. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't do that. I learned to do, not to do that. No, we have to see that he is what? He is an elder. Got to see the presence of Yahuwah on him, the Ruach upon him. He's old enough already to give you wisdom. He's been through it. Not to give you, but to give I and to give all those that are in here, all those right now, especially at this time. Hallelujah. You want to go to somebody, yeah, especially right now, all these young people that are going up right now all over the place. It's the it's going too rapid, too quick. They'll just give you a, an answer that seems oh, good to them. Right. Remember. Just remember, okay? Hallelujah. Do we have more scriptures? Uh, -huh. uh We read all the scriptures that were uh, for 
that were written. Would you like me to read any more scriptures? Yeah, I don't know if I left more today. When I was going through the hearing them, I kept kept them in mind. I said, well, you know what, tell Elder, like, as always, read them for me. And, uh, but uh, those scriptures that I gave you are, are scriptures that also, to, as today, is, you know, I'm at that age too. There's a lot of us here and all over the world that are at that age that if you need a word, we have the word of counsel. And why do I say counsel? Because a lot of times when somebody wants to talk of a, a word, they need a privacy, and they need, uh, they know how to handle how to talk to an elder, not to expose, or not to shame, or not to rebuke. So I, you know, they take them to a council and sit, and let's talk about it. That's wisdom right there. Mm -hmm. So out there in the world, if you're in a place that you need someone to talk to, you have something in your heart, that you want to talk just between you and, 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 and who you're talking to, then find a, a counsel, Con find an elderly and talk to him. They're full of wisdom. Yes, they are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to talk to you that, that every uh, scripture that I gave you today, take heed. Listen to them and really think about it. You know what? My oh, goodness, I gotta make a decision between me and him or her and me or me and them or that, that, this, whatever it is, and you know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't if you can and if you don't know how to go to Yahuwah because you don't know him, go go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read the scriptures, everyone out there. So I just want to let you know that Isha over here is so glad to share with you today, to talk to you, okay? I'm an elder also, and so are others. So, hallelujah. I leave you this day that you may have a beautiful day today. Every day is a day that he has made, and we're all going to rejoice in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Father, Yahuwah. Yahuwah. Yes, Yahuwah. that's his name, Yahuwah. Yahuwah, all over the world. So, hallelujah. As time goes on, this is to tell you, this is Isha. My name is Isha, a woman a warrior, a worshiper. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. To let you know that you all there, you have a shalom day. Do it in shalom, shalom. Be happy. Put that smile on your face. So until we see each other again, this is Isha. And, and as always, we leave you. I leave you with this scripture. Okay, Elder, read it, and let's go. To all the Ishas all over the world, the scripture to be empowered in him is written in Psalms 138, verse 2, which says, I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word Come on, above your, word. your name. Above his name. Hallelujah. And you all know his name. His name is Yahuwah. So till we see each other again, Isha. Shalom, shalom.